I have Friday off this week. I am about to go to the gym. I did oil my hair first because I did oil my hair a couple weeks ago. I feel like my hair felt just like really soft and healthy afterwards. I just use castor oil and I don't use very much of it because it's such a thick oil that if you do overdo it, it's impossible to wash out of your hair. I take a lighter oil and just put it through my ends just so that they have a little bit of something. I've been like not liking the gym at all. I think it's just because I've been like a little bit more anxious, nervous about things. So I haven't really had the motivation to really push myself. I feel like right now my routine is just off. I've been doing my nails. I actually changed my nails again for the freaking 14th time. I did aura with these little dots and I did hearts on my thumbs, but I don't really love the thumbs. I feel like I've been getting into other hobbies and I also really like doing my nails because it takes my mind off of things. I want to clean the bathroom a little bit because the grout is looking a little gross. I have a lot of just like little things here and there to do basically just being productive today if you guys haven't already make sure you like comment and subscribe i post every single friday i'm doing legs today which i'm horrified my legs have been so 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 sore to the point where i like can't physically walk i might actually do a lighter leg day it's just not fun when you're that sore because it's actually painful at that level it's all because i keep avoiding the gym because i have other things on my mind all right let's go back home now. Aiden's playing video games, so if you hear him screaming in the background, that's why. I made some fried rice last night, shrimp fried rice with Spam. Why is he so loud right now? Yes, I made this last night. I have to talk really fast and in between pauses that he's talking in so I can film properly. This is called Make It, but it's kind of like soy sauce with MSG and shit, but it's so good. You have to add it, otherwise it does not taste the same. It's like the secret ingredient. And then I made a little honey oat latte, my favorite kind of latte. I'm actually really excited because I'm just finishing up those beans right now. They aren't the best beans, they're from Winners, but I got them for Christmas and I opened them to use them to make tiramisu. Well, Ian's mom, sister, and family recently traveled to like the Dominican I believe they brought back some fresh beans so I'm really really excited to dig into those I think this is gonna be my last coffee from that <laughs> I think this is gonna be the last and final coffee from that bag of beans and then I can open that nice fresh one. There's not really any information on this. This is what it looks like if you're interested in buying it. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna eat now before my food gets cold and I get annoyed because I have to eat like steaming hot food. Otherwise, it does not taste good to me. It has to like burn my mouth. Okay, I think I've decided that I'm gonna clean first because whenever I clean, I get really sweaty and gross. I'm just gonna leave the hair oil in for even longer. I will shower just before I have to go to dinner. Do a little Dyson moment because I haven't done my hair in a while. I don't know, doing my hair just makes me feel good about myself. <laughs> okay, let's get cleaning. I'm gonna strip the bed and then I will tackle the washroom.
so sunny. I'm sweating from all the fucking cleaning. I've never cleaned <laughs> the grout in the bathroom. Shit looked disgusting. The tile on the floor and the tile in the actual bathtub are the same. So when I was cleaning the grout in the bathtub, I was like, I feel like ground should probably match the bathtub. I like scrubbed a little bit and then I realized how gross it was. So then I needed to scrub every centimeter. I'm so tired, but my laundry for the bed is actually still drying at the moment. So I'm gonna go shower really quick. Though my hair is almost dry, but I'm gonna leave it for a little bit longer. The back always just stays really, really wet. I'm gonna put on some light makeup now. I'm so excited because I'm going to a new taco place with my friends. They have birria tacos, which I will always, always, always get birria tacos. And then I will be having a nice little margarita. Excited that tonight is just one of those nights where I'm getting food with my friends and having just like one or two drinks. I don't even know if this shade match works. I actually wanna buy like a BB cream or something. Any of you guys have a recommendation, please let me know. It's almost five and I do have to leave here by six so I'm gonna try to hurry let me quickly finish this and then I will talk to you guys when I'm done my hair is kind of being extra right now I know it looks a little crazy silver hoops this time and I think I need more silver jewelry these mini hoops are actually from when I was in Peru super cheap and just from like a local vendor just bang it just sticks out so far but I know once it settles it's just gonna like go like that perfume time I think I'm gonna do floral marshmallow and I really like this one for going out because it does last a really long time it's definitely not for everyone. Just a little more lip gloss. Let's get some tacos. I'm so excited for birria tacos. Hello, I'm back home now. It was a very quick dinner. We did stop at McDonald's. I did not get anything, which self-control. They don't have anything I like anymore. They took away the strawberry sundae, which was my go-to sundae. I don't like chocolate, so I'm not gonna get a chocolate sundae or a fudge sundae. And then they also took away the score McFlurry. But dinner was really, really good. Something about birria tacos just has my heart. Portion size was really little. The tacos were probably like this Bruh. big and then folded in half. They're like Ooh. only this big. If you were to take real full bites, I think you could finish one taco in two bites. Like I want more food. I'm actually so I was surprised at how well my hair stayed, but I guess the hairspray I have now is maybe a little bit better It only ever looks this shiny when it's my natural hair. No dye. I was thinking about doing a gloss on my hair like myself I feel like I always hated Aiden's fucking laugh. I can't. Aiden's been playing video games the whole fucking day and he won't shut the fuck up. I used to always hate dark hair and my friend Marilyn, who you guys have met maybe like one time, but she is one of like my best friends in the whole wide world and we've been friends for so, so, so long, but she lives in Chicago. She's a doctor. Anyways, back to the main... Anyways, back... Anyways, back to the main point. The reason why I brought her up is because I used to always talk about wanting to dye my hair. And she would always be like, I don't know why you want to dye your hair. Your hair's so glossy, so silky. It looks so shiny, reflective. She'd always say these things. But now as I've gotten older, I realize what she meant by that. I don't use anything special in my hair. I do want better shampoo, conditioner, and stuff like that. Waiting for Aiden to finish playing video game. And then we're going to go to Anejo and get a couple more marks. Good morning. Once again, it's not the morning, it's the afternoon. It's 1230. It's been a week for like a little bit. I did get dressed and like ready. My hair, I can't get over how shiny it is. Cause I don't usually oil my hair, but like look how reflective that is, crazy. We are gonna go to Global Thrift today, which is a large thrift store type vibe, kind of like Value Village. From my understanding, they have flat prices. So it'll be like $16 for a light jacket. It's not like individually priced items. And then I'm also in the market to buy a new film camera. My old film camera is really, really crappy. A lot of my friends shoot film. They've inspired me, especially because Ezra got me film for my birthday. Tomorrow, hopefully I can pick this thing up. I'm making a cake tomorrow. Very, very excited for that. Last night was really fun. Aiden and I just got a couple mugs, chilled at Neo. We also went to Two Cats, which was really weird because it was just the two of us and I feel like I've only ever gone with a group. I don't know, I was so sober that I was like, why am I here? You know, I just had one fish taco because I feel like the birria tacos were just so small. Oh my God, I forgot to show you guys. Eden and I built Lego. We did this last weekend, but I didn't vlog last weekend because I don't know, I think I was having like a crisis, but we built our Lego. It was actually really easy, but I also still kept fucking up because I wasn't reading the instructions. <laughs> but luckily the things that I forgot to add on don't really matter. Time to wake Eden up and then we will go. Don't ever go there. It's a flop. Would not recommend. My voice just cracked. Yeah, it sucked in there. Don't go there. <laughs> you 
우리는 Back home now. It was not a successful thrift day. The only thing that we got was this random piece of art, but it's really cute and I really like it. And we're gonna put it in our bathroom. First, thrift store sucked ass. I feel like people overhyped it or were paid to lie about it. And then we went to Value Village on Bloor, which I will say had really good stuff. It was really, really fucking busy though. Maybe don't go on a weekend when there's like a million people running around in there. I also feel like because it's so busy, people buy everything. And we got some fried chicken. It was my first time there, which Aiden has gone before and he's really liked. It. He also got a bunch of beers. We literally stopped at so many breweries. It's only three. Got that blue eye stare. To look myself. Tastes like beard. Anyways, I'm gonna lay down for a little bit because I'm tired. I think we're gonna make a roasted tomato vegetable soup thing tonight. We're gonna, gonna make. Aiden's gonna make it with me. Yeah. But I have to buy some groceries for the soup, and then I also have to buy raspberries and lemons for the cake that I'm gonna make tomorrow. And then I confirmed that I'm gonna pick up the film camera on the way to Easter dinner. Look at this perfect pepper. God, I almost cut my finger off. dinner and I've just been chilling. AKA okay, I've just been laying in bed doing absolutely nothing. I actually think I'm gonna go to the gym, walk on an incline and read my book. I started a new book reading After That Night by Karen Slaughter. Heard really good things about this author. I've always seen her books, but I just like never really picked any of her books up. I don't know why. I feel like this might not even be her best book. So if I like this one, I will definitely be picking up her like number one, which I think is Silent Wife. So I've only read just a little bit. I don't know what else I'm really gonna get up to tonight because it's already 10 o'clock. Probably just gonna come back shower and then do you actually want to edit this video that i'm filming right now i guess i will see you guys tomorrow when i make my lemon olive oil cake which i'm, I'm so, so excited, excited for this is my mood right now these best fruit love it i forgot to buy yogurt i always forget something and i'm so annoyed it's literally easter sunday too so love loss isn't even open fingers crossed shoppers is though because i'm about to have to hike. hike okay pray for me i will be back hopefully in like five minutes or less or i will be very upset i'm back i got it it was on sale and i also got this because i think i mentioned to you guys i need a new bb cc cream type thing i've been wanting to try this it's the covergirl simply ageless skin perfector essence this serum type thing with these beads you can see. I don't know. This thing is kind of expensive. When it first came out, I really wanted it. I didn't get it because it was like $28 to $26 even if I went to Walmart to buy it, which I think is insane for this tiny little thing. But let's start baking now before I literally run out of time. Thank you. 
cake is out of the oven. I actually took it out a couple minutes early because the top was getting quite dark and I really didn't want it to burn. Luckily the middle is cooked but I am getting ready now while the cake is cooling but my plan is to just do a very very simple little decoration. Essentially I just want to do a little bit of powdered sugar and then raspberries on top. I love fruit on cake. I know that can be a little controversial. I know some people hate fruit on cake. Don't really like super heavy cakes and that's why I opted for this like more simple sponge cake. It's currently 11.30. I love using the Salty Face liquid bronzer. It's so good. I love mixing it with my sunscreen because then it just gives me like such a nice glow. I'm not gonna lie, it kind of hides my pimples or like acne scarring. I will be trying out this bad boy and letting you guys know how it goes. It unlocks the car door so many times, it just like does not stop. It's like blinding in here, partially because of the fact that this is blinding. I wanna move it. We're on our way to Aiden's mom's now, but we are making that pit stop so I can buy my film camera. And I did tell the guy 1.30, but probably not gonna get there until two, which was the original time. And I also brought a roll of film so that I can load it into the camera. That's my magic mind. I'm gonna take this now and I will talk to you guys in a little bit once I have the film camera. home i'm showered gonna edit and go to bed that's all i fell asleep in the car dinner was good my cake was delicious good night see you next week